Kamala Harris. <laughs> Man, she's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Talking about AI and dis and misinformation because she's the one who knows about dis and misinformation. She is so accurate and factual in everything she ever says. Listen. Space, it connects us all. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm, she's got lots of quality. She's good, man. Lines like that. Yeah. Okay. And here she is on dis and AI and that. This and, dis that. and, and when that. people around the world cannot discern fact from fiction uh -huh. because of a flood of AI-enabled mis- and disinformation. Uh -huh. Then you can help us, right? right? I ask. You ask. Is that not uh -huh. existential oh. no. for democracy? Oh. Oh, for, I can't. I just can't. For Pete's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Let me answer. No, it is not existential for democracy. First of all, even if it were, who cares? We don't have a democracy! So, there's one thing. Hold on. The other thing is... We've always been able to figure this out on our own, okay? <laughs> Why are we so stupid yeah. now that I can't separate the fact from fiction? I mean, a case can I be made. I can. I mean, it's it's a little more difficult because we do have a lot of stuff being thrown at us. That's up to us. But it's up to us to figure this stuff out. We're not morons, and we don't need you because we're a bunch of sheep and you're our shepherd. No. We're, we're not cattle, and you're the rancher. That's that's not what's going on here. We're the ones in charge, supposedly. You do our bidding. We don't do yours. So stop trying to lead us around by the nose and let us figure things out for ourselves. It, you know, if we're getting bombarded with bots from Russia, we'll we'll figure it out on our own. We'll noodle that one out. Uh, but. What I think is really happening is the mis- and disinformation coming from this administration. Mm -hmm. They're the real danger. With the climate change bullcrap, with the democracy BS, they're the ones piling it on. Who's going to protect us from you, Kamala? I mean, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get out in front of this and steer AI. Yep. The way the, the way, way they want to. The way Google manipulates searches. Yeah. That's what they're trying to do with AI. And they're already doing it. Yep. They're already programming it to do their will and their bidding. And what did we just say yesterday? I, I, I made the point that about six months ago, remember, um, AI was telling the truth about climate change. Mm -hmm. And like you look it up and they're like, oh my gosh, look, it's it's unbiased. It's finding facts. It's spewing out facts. Right. They can't have that. They can't have it. Because they can't win, as Rush Limbaugh used to say, in the arena of ideas. They've got to no, manipulate. They They've got to lie. They've got to steal. They've got to cheat. Mm -hmm. and, and, and is this next clip not absolutely perfect along those lines? Here she is talking about AI and the climate crisis. This is a moment of profound opportunity. Mm -hmm. The benefits of AI are immense. It could give us the power... To fight the climate crisis. Oh, God. oh here we go. We're going to use it Give to fight the, the climate. Give us the power yeah. to fight the climate crisis. Terrifying. What climate crisis? Do you, do you know that we've got more snow cover right now than we've ever had at this time of year? At least in the last two decades. So it's been 20 years since we had this kind of snow cover. Mm, weather weirding. <laughs> weather weird. It's just more proof of climate change to them. <laughs> Right, but, but 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 seriously, before you do this, AI is scary enough, right? Mm -hmm. AI being manipulated by these Marxists. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's over. 